right, well, welcome back into Talk Wisconsin. We are focusing all on community efforts and everything related to coronavirus, COVID-19. And um, a lot of it's been negative, but it doesn't have to always be negative. I mean, when you're talking about local businesses and food, uh, it's always, you know, there's always something puts a smile on your face, at least for me. I love my food, so that's why we bring in Dominic DeRosa, uh, both the Dominics from Black Bear Inn um, here on Cottage Grove Road. So uh, thanks for joining us and taking some time today. No problem. So, yeah, well, well awesome, guys. Our... You know, for, for the folks who haven't, uh, haven't heard, obviously you both are the same name, so, you know, family business. Tell us about uh, Black Bear Inn. So the Black Bear Inn is a family-owned establishment right on Cottage Grove Road. It's been here for just around 30 years, 40, 40, 40 years, years total now. Holy cow. My grandfather started construction late 70s, finished it and uh, opened in 80, I believe. Um, after that, he owned it for 10 years, and my father bought it in 90, and he has owned it ever since. Dominic here is going to be the third generation pretty soon, so that's why you get both of us. Yeah, well, that's, that's great. I mean, it sounds like you have to, you know, eventually down the road, if you have, uh, you know, you have to have a son and it has, he has to be named Dominic. So yep. just yep. keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Let's let's get into something a little bit, you know, more uh, like serious, I guess, on this note, because, you know, this coronavirus thing has affected a lot of different businesses and I'm sure you're no different. So um, what kind of things, you know, how has this been a challenge for you? Well, we obviously can't serve anything in the restaurant or our bar itself is now closed. And that's about at least half of our business. Just just in, you know, our bar sales versus food sales, we generally run about 50-50. So to combat that, we've been doing curbside pickups and call aheads, obviously, for your orders. It's been going pretty well. People seem to be pretty happy with it. And we've um, our to-go business is doing fairly well right now. So it's keeping us, it's keeping us going. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it sounds like that's all you can really hope for at this point is uh, you've got a loyal customer base and, and, you know, being able to offer things that are going to, you know, encourage people to, to support you and, and other local businesses. So, you know, what are you offering folks? Is there, you know, anything, you know, just everyone's kind of bu budget conscious right now. So what are we doing to uh, kind of entice people to continue to support Black Bear Inn? Also uh, with the Black Bear Inn for the, community around us to support us. We've been actually giving back a lot to the community. Um, every day between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. we've been helping out making lunches for kids in the Cottage Grove area for K through 12. Um, with that essentially it's all the schools around us are offering grab and go lunches and because we're in the middle of Cottage Grove rather than making all the students walk all the way up to the middle school which is Glacial Drum one we've been able to provide them with quicker lunches right around the neighborhood so they can just run in grab some food and leave. In addition to that, we've also been dropping food off to a couple of the clinics in Cottage Grove here. Um, one TW Health, the other's Wildwood. Essentially, we've just been supporting them because of everything they've been going through in the community and trying to stay positive as best we can. Um, in addition to that, we've been doing stuff like pharmacies. We've uh, donated some food to the police department to, um, earlier this week as well. So, and to help with the general public, we've been doing 20% off all of our carryouts. So anybody that orders anything gets 20% off. We've also, we carry up a packaged good license, goods license, sorry. And we've been selling mixed drinks with a, with a airplane size bottle to go with them. So if somebody wants to come in and buy breakfast like they normally did on a Sunday and get a Bloody Mary, we can still make them the Bloody Marys that there they you love. Go. Yeah, and I tell you what, like, you know, the 20% the off is awesome, but I, I do want to highlight and just say how great that is that you're, you know, giving back to the community and allowing people to, you know, to continue to get their meals because, you know, s some people are out of work and, you know, can't make ends meet and just any little bit helps. So uh, I'm sure I can speak for everyone to say that, you know, we appreciate that. So, so thank you for providing thank that. You. Yeah. So, and I guess I want to, I want to throw, you know, we got about 30 seconds left. So, you know, what's, you know, ways that people can get in touch with you? How do they order? What's that process like? Oh, our phone number is 608-839-5222. And they can call us anytime if they want to call ahead for a dinner and call us at noon. We're here. We're here from 11, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, plus Saturdays and Sundays. We've been opening at 9 a.m. and doing breakfast until like 1 o'clock usually. So those are about our normal dinner hours. So. 
Okay. Well, hey, guys, I, I appreciate it. appreciate your time and everything that you're doing for the community. So be sure to check Thank out you. the Black Bear Inn, everybody. So uh, thanks a lot for your time, and we'll have more Talk Wisconsin after this.